So this past week, the city of Chicago released their OpenGov uh, report, Open <coughs> Data Report. This is our novel report that we released this. Uh, it's an extension of an executive order that was signed by Rahm Emanuel last December. Uh, and every, January, every July, from this point on out, we're going to be releasing this report that describes uh, one key initiatives that we're going to be engaging in with our open data portal, and two, to give you a preview of data sets that we want to work with, work on for the upcoming year. Uh, the URL for it is report.cchicago.org slash open dash data dash 2015. Or you can go to GitHub. Yeah. Uh, get there. Here, look who. It's a little more. It's a new report. It, it is a new report, yes. So uh, we, we, go, we step through a number of key initiatives that we're going to be taking a look at. And one, some, a lot of what folks on the key initiatives that we have in the reports out there is uh, better outreach, better feedback, uh, better engagement with the developers in the sense of when we want to change technical things such as API names. You know, we, we need to alert people of that. There's, there's few mistakes that we know that exist out there. We want to do a better job. We want to publish more of the, the uh, top requested uh, FOIA requests. So we're working on text mining algorithms to identify that by looking at all the FOIA requests that have been posted online. Juan, I hope you like that, because we've taken the FOIA data sets that were posted that you hated, and maybe I should turn those into a way. Uh, uh, when new systems are going to get secured, we want to identify right up front what data from those systems should be released, as opposed to what my team ends up doing a lot, is trying to chase down data from systems that have just been built. Uh, we want to improve our collaboration with the county and the data sets that they have, because the city and county have very distinct <coughs> operations. But there are some other open data portal websites, they have the advantage of a city might run the hospitals, so you get you get richer data on various different aspects. Uh, and then also, uh, uh, a better opportunity to get feedback from you in terms of data sets that you want to see. You can go to the data portal right now. You can email us of data sets that you want to see, but that's via email. That's, that's not the way that we do things. <coughs> so we want to make this a bit more automated, a bit more transparent. On some key data sets that we're hoping to release in this upcoming year, uh, we're hoping to release uh, almost all the 301 calls in the upcoming year. Uh, we're also looking forward to releasing uh, ordinance violations, various different bits of ordinance violations that exist. So you actually, on the portal, you can see a lot of tickets that have been written, but you may not know what the outcome of those tickets were. And was there a, a fine actually left? How much was that fine? Or was the case entirely dismissed? We want to reveal that information as well. And then uh, a number of data sets from a variety of different departments uh, that, that really didn't make the large bullet, bullet list, but after we talked to them, they said, well, this is important to our day-to-day -day operations, and so we want to make that information available to them. This isn't definitive. This isn't exclusive. So there will be other data sets besides uh, what we've listed up on this report. Um, but uh, it is something that we are going to be targeting over the next six months to a year. <coughs>